the launch date, software, production capacity, and some exclusive leaks of the P50 Pro and Mate 50 series have been revealed courtesy of our trusted Huawei leaker, Rodent. So sit back, grab some popcorn, and let's get into the video. Oh, and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss future tech videos. The P50 series is gonna be the first Huawei device to launch with its proprietary Harmony OS. It's not gonna be too far off from Android. In fact, it's gonna run EMUI 11.1, so it's gonna be really similar to the usual Huawei software experience. Huawei is also expected to update over 300 million devices to Harmony OS over the next couple of months, so they're finally making a shift to their own operating system, and it'll be interesting to see if other Chinese brands like Xiaomi, Oppo, and Vivo are gonna support them. The P50 series is gonna be limited in supplies because of a shortage in the Kirin 9000 chipsets, and that's because of the US sanctions that prevents them from making their own chips and working with other companies that use US technology. So they can't source chips from Qualcomm or Samsung, and there's very little Kirin 9000 chips available. So they're gonna make only 3 to 4 million P50 devices, including the base P50, the P50 Pro, and the P50 Pro Plus. The Pro Plus is is going to be the weakest when it comes to availability, according to Rodent. He also said the China launch event is on the 17th of April as previously reported, but specifying that it's a China launch might mean there's going to be a separate global launch event on a later date like Xiaomi does, but that's just a speculation. Remember I said the base P50 might have a bigger display than its predecessor because the P50 was rumored to not be as compact as the P40. Well, Rodent said there's also going to be a 6.1 inch variant, so maybe a P50 Lite. The P50 Pro and Pro Plus are going to have the same 6.7 inch 10 bit display with just over 1080p resolution and a 120Hz refresh rate. That's an upgrade from the 90Hz panel on the P40 series. He also mentioned some information about the Mate 50 series. All four variants, the Mate 50, the Mate 50 Pro, the Mate 50 Pro Plus and the Mate 50 R RS could use the current generation Kirin 9000 chipset, since Huawei can't produce any more Kirin chips, but it makes me wonder how many Kirin chips they had to begin with. Anyway, that's all for me in this video. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.